It's funny. I had to go all the way down to Dallas to catch up with the commander's senior director of player personnel, Mr. Eric Stokes. You know, we could have done this in Ashburn. Uh, I would have loved to, but, you know, hopefully you guys get out of here tonight. I don't know. The weather is uh, a little rough. It's looking rough. We're, yeah. Tomorrow night we're hoping. Okay. Tomorrow night we're hoping. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about what's going on down here, what the NFL has set up. Let's start with kind of – Help fans understand what your role is with the Commanders. So uh, as a senior director of player personnel, I'm basically overseeing both aspects of our pro personnel and college scouting departments and then working uh, alongside with Marty Herney, our uh, vice president of player personnel, Martin Muir, Jim manager, and then, of course, Ron Rivera. So, um, you know, so that's really I'm just kind of overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of how that all flows. Pros and scouting. That's a lot. That's busy. Uh, yeah, both the pro and college side. So, you know, I find a little balance. Uh, basically spend the first part of my week uh, focusing more on the pro side and, you know, kind of internally uh, analyzing the team. And as I get to the middle of the week, I focus more on the college aspect of it. And then as I get to the back half of the weekend, it's kind of back to the pro, do some prep work in terms of possible colleges that I'll be revisiting uh, for the next week. And then we get into game day. Well, and does that kind of change by the calendar? Right, like before the draft, you're focused on one, and then free agency. Like, does it get impacted that way? No, you know, it's it's pretty continuous. So, as you know, as you looked at a kind of big picture calendar year, as we, you know, as we're obviously when we're in camp, all the focus is about internally and working with our team, and uh, really more on the pro side of, of things. But once we get kind of into uh, late September, uh, I kind of tend to shift the focus to really balancing both uh, both the pro and college aspects of it. So, you know, obviously it's all about building to the draft, uh, the lifeblood of your team. So, you know, you have to find balance in terms of how you're managing both both those departments i mean balancing that you're putting a lot of hours in i can only imagine and, and i think it's cool because i don't think that fans get to understand the the kind of work that goes into these these front offices so what was going on down here in dallas that brought you to town and and the nfl trying to make sure that that maybe other teams know your name yeah, so uh, the, the Accelerator program is taking place this year, which is uh, tied into the league office. And the league has also tied this in with the league meetings, which gives us some exposure to ownership, uh, front office executives. Uh, it's an opportunity to network. Uh, they bring in some fantastic speakers. There's some sessions and some seminars that we take place as well. So, uh, you know, you're really just tying in uh, a lot of different aspects of, you know, people around the league, an opportunity to network, an opportunity for some professional growth. Uh, and, it's, and it's a great, uh, great deal by the league. And we can be real here. The, the league's track record with getting head coaches, general managers, top front office positions to minority candidates isn't that great. Like, you've been in this league a long time. You know how this has worked. Do you feel like programs like this push things forward? I think it's an excellent step in the right direction. Uh, I think, you know, obviously we're still in the genesis phase of how uh, this accelerator program's come together. I think we all uh, came in sometime, I believe, in April, May was kind of the first one. This is the second phase of, of that and uh, a follow-up, which I think is great. Uh, and, you know, you're tying this all in with the league meetings. So, again, we have that exposure to ownership and top-level executives. So, uh, you know, I think we'll just we'll find out. You know, a little time will tell, but I uh, definitely like the direction that it's moving in. That's great to hear. And that you're in a unique position that team president Jason Wright, uh, general manager Martin Mayhew, head coach Ron Rivera, all minorities. How much support do they give you in this process? I mean, tremendous. I mean, and, and Marty Herney is also fantastic sure. in that entire group. And, uh, you know, obviously I've had the, you know, the relationship with Coach Rivera going back to Carolina and then, uh, you know, and, and along with Marty Herney on that and then bringing in Martin Mayhew with the mix, who I kind of knew from afar, uh, just kind of through some networking, um, you know, just been fantastic. So having their support, uh, having their vulnerability of them sharing their stories, their experiences, getting a chance to really kind of see it firsthand, all, you know, been fantastic experience. Very cool to hear. Um, switch of gears. Pretty big game Sunday night. How uh, how are the commanders set up for this final four game stretch? What is Ron told me today? The, the next four games are basically a playoff atmosphere. Yeah, I mean that's very true. I think uh, everybody is uh, focused. And, you know, it's still all about one game at a time. So even though it's about a four-game stretch, you have to take care of business one week, you know, basically one week at a time. And, and that's all we need to do. So for this week, look, it's all about just focusing on the Giants. Worry about next week, next week. But we are, uh, you know, we're very excited about the opportunity to be relevant, uh, be in the mix, and uh, hopefully we can finish this out strong. Eric, thanks for the time, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.